was, but dad slash grandpa made this in the 50s out of an old Band-Aid can, painted it red, put a jack receptacle in it, volume control knob, it's a self-powered speaker, amplified, amplified, amplified speaker, and uh, I put a new battery in it, his was, this one was dead, it was dated August 92, so he must have messed with this even in the 90s. And he made it in the 50s. That's like 40, 45 years of playing with it. So that he kept this around in his desk or filing cabinet. I'm sure you've all seen it. But I borrowed it. I wanted to play with it. And I was lucky on eBay. They, you can still get some of these vintage World War II telegraph slash Morse code keys. This one is a J38. This was used by the Signal Corps. Four different companies made these. Uh, the Navy ships, my dad was in the Navy Coast Guard, they had a different button arrangement here. They had this bu Bakelite button, but they had another bigger, larger one underneath it where you could put your fingers and hold it better. I, I imagine between, you know, the Rocky Seas and the bombings, strafings, kamikaze pilots, they could hang on better to send the SOS signal. And I also found this vintage World War II six-foot cord for this telegraph key. Ain't that special. So what I did, I can plug this in here and adjust it and I can send the SOS signal. Whoops, that's not it. It's did 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 da 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 did did did. I remember that and I remember E. T may be, oops, no, did da, I don't know. But anyway, I got this together because I wanted to play with it.